Welcome back for the first men's match of today's play on the glass court. Mathieu Castagnier of France taking on Mohamed Al Shabagi of Egypt. Oh dear, well he wrong footed hey, Castagnier there who tried to change Five direction two. but he completely sunk on his heels and you can see there who's a lot of activity taking place down this left hand side wall players jockeying for position hoping for an opportunity to take it in short thank you that's very fair from El Shabagi slightly raised on the left hand side of the court there you see the tins. <laughs> is it to do with the conditions? Is it to do with no, the, the, the fact conditions. they haven't played a huge amount? And that it's, it's when you say it's a mindset that you can get your feeding and your training and it's practice. Better, but there's, there's a perfect nine. example game there. I'm just, I'm just trying to throw it up there. No, you're just load. trying to be difficult. No, I'm not usual. actually <laughs> being difficult. I'm actually trying to be interesting for once. At the moment, he seems to be in a pretty good place mentally. He's keeping a good check on things. He's not getting too irate or frustrated with what's going on out there. It seems quite calm. Paint out, 7-3. Again, it's that movement backwards. It's a better length there from Mathieu, but... That's a good shot there. That stayed very, very short. Out. Here we Four, see seven. Renan Levine, very young looking Renan Levine in the crowd. Six game balls for a two love lead for Mohamed El Shibagi. Eleven four, gain to Shibagi. Shibagi leads two games to love. Dragging his racket round like a sulky baby. Like you, you mean? I never did that. <laughs> I saw you sulk a lot. I sulk, but I used to still fight for everything. It's quality. But this is where you've got to be careful. You saw Shibagi give up the ghost at seven love. And all of a sudden... Well, Paint out. Nine, six. Tidy. 11 Good 7. Finish. Match to a Shurbagi. Just practicing a few lobs at the end. 11 9. Better respect between these two. Playing in the best seven. spirit. <laughs> Certainly battled over the years. 36 minutes in duration. 11 9, 11 4, 11 7. Shurbagi, the number three seed, comes through against Castagnier of France by three games to love. Mohagen Matthew is no easy <laughs> out. Former world number six. Tough. Second round match for you. Talk about the win today. Yeah, Castagny has a lot of experience. We played so many different times in so many different venues. One of them was here. We played a few years ago. Uh, with him, you know, he's going to fight till the last point. He always, he's, he's a big, huge fighter. And I've witnessed him when he was playing at the top 10. You know, we played so many times. He has had some good wins against me. And I've had some good wins against him myself. So it's great to get on court once more time with him. And uh, I hope we can uh, play more time in the future. <laughs> Oh, he's got him with the old, <laughs> he's got him with the leisure centre post. Of all the people that are forward, uh, one four three. for this one. Sorry. I mean, this is right up the Rodriguez Street. This kind of squash where it's it's quite open. Yeah, it's fast. It's furious. You know, corner to corner to corner stuff. Lots of angles. Lots of short balls. Yeah, it's nicely done. It's nicely played in by moment. Had a couple Nine of all. opportunities there, though, Rodriguez. Yeah, 
that's a good the squeeze from Mo. So well, doesn't he, Tarek? The, the shape Panda, he gets on this volley it just means that the ball hits the front wall and then it spins in towards the side wall. So you can see it there. Down. 13 11, game to Rodriguez. Well, Rodriguez the first blood goes to Rodriguez here. Really open and entertaining game of squash that first. That's ridiculous. Wow, look at this. Why is the ref not stopping the play here? There's a massive. Because it wasn't near to the, that area where the sweat was on the court, so they, they carried on playing. It would have, he would have called it immediately if it had gone near to that area, but it didn't. So it certainly exactly played out works. for an exciting. So what happened? Yeah, I'm curious about this. But, oh dear, oh dear. I'll pick, could have I'll been pick very painful. I'll pick up in the front court. Look, see there. Once that's carried on. No, I'm comfortable with it. No, they're all fine. But look, he's not. They've not gone anywhere near that area. Right. I see what you mean. A little bit. Ooh. Hand out. Oh, oh dear, oh dear. I mean, this is this is prime time, Rodriguez. <laughs> He's desperate. This is when Tarek Moman plays his best, when he just hangs in and retrieves. It's just so difficult, though, isn't it, when you're two game balls down to start doing that. Oh, what a shot. That's ridiculous. I mean, to play a shot of that quality from that deep in the back of the court is outrageous. 9-10, game ball. <laughs> I mean, that is high-risk squash from Tarek Moment. Oh, there you go. We said about that cross-court drop of Tarek Moment's. He's chosen a perfect time to play it. 10 all, each player has one review Watch this. available. He's not done that. Yes, Well, we're going Play for a review. review. Oh, this is, bo this yes is bold. Decision. This is bold because, but it's hard to tell because if Rodriguez can get this ball, the line through to the ball is through Tarek Moment. It's just if there's that doubt of whether someone's going to get, get it or, it or not, not. Yeah. Then, it, then you'd go with let. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's gone ah! for a no let. He's just giving him the run around now, isn't he? Looks a lot more comfortable. Tarek moment. Five love. Charge into the back of... Not a charge, but a bit of a movement towards the back of Rodriguez. Desperate for the let. Hand out, 9-6. Yeah, it's nicely done. It's gone to it so early, there's no chance even of a player of Rodriguez's speed to go and fetch that. <laughs> well, that's a little bit of a... Whoa, 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 how many... I mean, such a massive scoop there. This is ridiculous. Why is this not caught by the ref? Hand out to all. <laughs> yeah, it's trouble. Again, it's the backhand drop. Causing the problems for Rodriguez. Hand out, 9-5. I mean, it was such hard work. Now serving with... Five match balls to book his place into the third round of this Windy City. Down. Just the one attempt Five. needed. Highly match entertaining matchup between these two. One. Fantastic movers on the squash court. 11-7. Always a pleasure five. to watch these two do battle. Yeah, it was really open and entertaining squash between these two. 56 minutes it took for Tarek Moman to get past 
Miguel Rodriguez. 3-1 in the end. Tarek, fantastic win. Miguel came flying out of the gates in game one and continued in game two. You played some real high-risk squash to blunt four game balls in game two, turn the match around, and move on to the third round. Yeah, I, I don't know how that happened, to be honest. There was this one shot, I think at 8-10 or 9-10, where I hit a drop shot from the back. I don't know what was I thinking, to be honest, but it was just, it came right on top of the tin. Um, I, I stopped thinking, I, I guess, because it, um, it was a poor performance on my end uh, at the beginning. Not the whole time, but there were patches where I just, I felt like I should be pushing harder than this. Um, I wasn't feeling so energetic today at the beginning, um, but I tried to hang in there in the first game. I felt a bit flat, but I kept pushing. I lost it in a tie break, but it was okay. And then the second game, I was very disappointed until 10-6 uh, with the way I was um, conducting myself on court. And then it turned the other way around. I was extremely proud to manage to, uh, to squeeze that one out because uh, coming back from 10-6 down in the second to prevent the two-love deficit is really, is really tough to pull off. And, uh, and for me to do that, I was very pleased and proud of that. That's a terrific pick up there from Farag. That's ridiculous as he picked up some of these. <laughs> Finally, that third attempt. And out just two, enough three. on the backhand drive here from Kandra. That's going to be big. If that's not a slam dunk in the Nick roller, and out, it's coming out. And then, he, and then Ali Frag's got the angle all day long. Take that apart. Eleven five game to Farag. Farag leads one game to love. He's just not getting. Getting the depth on the pace. <laughs> well, that'll do. And out four seven. But Kandra's, he's getting that pace on the ball, right? But he's not getting the depth. Plus. He's played it. Oh. He could have taken the stroke there. Actually, somehow got that between the shoulder and the side wall of Kandra. Watch this here. <laughs> how quick is that? And str not a sidewall in sight. Look at how quickly he got his racket around the back of this ball. <laughs> Kendra he shakes his head. He can't the believe sidewall. it. Look, pin <laughs> straight. Step too many, Eleven really. Seven game to Farag. Farag leads two games to love. Tidied up nicely in the end by Farag. I wonder if that, that stretching has just finally taken its toll on the body. It's all left leg, isn't it? Yep. It's amazing. Oh, it's a bit of a James Wilson up there. He's had a glance across at Farag. And out one off. Clever. It's a great shot from Farag. The shot that did the damage was the backhand volley behind himself, back across the body of Kandra that wrong foots the German. Eight five. That one there. Then he's got the open court. Oh, there's a lot of noise. Well, he just needs to try harder, really. Yeah, he's, he's gone out with a bang and a slide. 11, 5, Terrific. 11, 7, 11, 9. Effort from Rafael Kandra. Thoroughly enjoyed by the crowd, rightly so. Certainly can't knock his efforts. 
in the end, just a bridge too far. Farag in some pretty good form. Ali, I was just saying to you, a 3-0 match, but a very, very entertaining and hard-fought 3-0 match. How important is it to you in a long, arduous tournament like this to get off the court as quickly as possible in the first round? Well, I never think it this way, to be honest. I step on court just trying to win and try to win every point. And if it's, if it's a win, it's a bonus. I mean, it's, it's great. If it's a three-love win, it's even better. But uh, you can think too far ahead of yourself. And uh, <coughs> Rafi, Rafi loves to play very open squash, which is not easy to maintain, you know. And uh, today was a bit of a tough day watching Noor play a five-setter, a very emotional one, and, uh, and doing so well. And then having to, uh, to come back two hours later or under two hours to play against Rafi, who, as I said, uh, plays uh, uh, a very unique uh, brand of squash. I had to be on my metal and I was a little subdued and I knew it, but I didn't want to fire myself up because I think that was the best attitude to go to, uh, forward today. And I'm just very, happy, very, very happy to win in three. Quite wide enough from the Englishman. Left. Pounced on by Cole. Five. It's on the left. Well, <laughs> it's, really, it's ridiculous. Mm. Reminding me of that epic one, the Canary Wharf years ago between these two. <laughs> Not quite the dives though from Carl, but will drop. Hear the response of the crowd there, PJ. Even you can hear that. Paid out six nine. I mean, he had to win the rally like five times over there, Wolstrop. <laughs> it's tight work. 11 yeah. six game Reminiscent of the rally before. Paul Cole getting in early, utilizing the counter drop, utilizing his speed. at the accuracy there and it's such a terrific camera angle ball landing within two floorboards that really is world class any of those uh, viewers watching that's tidy again from Colt one low patient yet calculated Fine. Oh, he dug that one out oh my word We'll stop giving it all sorts here, PJ. This is ridiculous retrieving, though. The ball just keeps coming back. Down. Oh, a rare error right. from Carl. See the crowd enjoying it, a lot of head nodding. Six stand game ball. Can't take your foot off the gas. Down. Oh, 11 7. He looks up to the to ceiling goal. there. Paul Cole, Cole was a little bit spaghetti legged after that loose post. <laughs> but unfortunately. Yeah, it's good work. 5-2. Front left-hand corner again for Cole. It's been a real strength area for him. Yeah, it's brilliant. It's the length that did the damage. Paul Cole Four struggles five. to get this one off the forehand side wall and then Will Strap trademark, really. No. When it snows in Chicago, it's time to leave. 11 6, match to Paul. Three games to love. 11 6, 11 7. So coming into this, I told myself I was not going to ask you anything about the upcoming rankings uh, on Tuesday morning. But if I was going to ask you a question about the upcoming rankings on Tuesday morning, this event, you've been gearing your season thus far, aiming at this event. Do you still feel pressure to prove yourself at this level based on the fact that you're going to be number one ranked in the world come Tuesday? 
Um, I mean, it, it's, it's going to be the best day of my life, um, that's for sure. Um, but I'm just focusing on titles at the moment. I'm trying to win every tournament I enter, um, especially the big ones like this one. It's one of my favourite venues to come at. Um, yeah, the atmosphere is always, always great. The location is just amazing. I just, I just love everything about um, coming here. And I've got some good memories here. I've always played well here. So uh, we're just going to try and enjoy the week and, and take uh, you know, one match at a time.